Hi, this is Dr. Aaron Perla with the American Mustache Institute. We welcome you back to another installment of the Peabody Award winning Mustache Interview. Today we are joined by country singer, extraordinary singer songwriter. All right, cool. Yeah. Wheeler Walker Jr. Wheeler, thank you for being with us. Let me ask you um, you hear and you read a lot of descriptives in social media, on Tinder, on Grindr, who is Wheeler Walker Jr.? Um, well, I think the Grindr guy's got the most right. It's just, he's just a, a, a legend. He's kind of almost superhuman. You know, the great, certainly the greatest country artist right now. I would say the greatest country artist of the past 20, 30 years. I mean, no one's really doing what I'm doing, which is doing real country music uncensored, not giving a fuck about radio, not giving a fuck about TV, fuck the award shows, fuck them all, and just playing, you know, country music the way I used to hear it back in Kentucky, and you know, raw and uncensored. So Grinder was really the one, you know, the Grinder guys are the ones who kind of had it right, which is just I'm huge. Your first album, Redneck Shit, debuted at number nine on the Billboard country charts. Why didn't it chart on the R and B charts? It's a real fucking sexy album, you know. I mean, I said it at the time, and I got in trouble for it, but it should have been. Uh, it certainly should have been in the R&B charts. There's a lot of soul in it, and a lot, of, and that's, that's R&B is probably my second favorite genre. I would say besides uh, country. Let me. I want to read to you what Rolling Stone said about Redneck Shit. Quote: Unfathomably obscene and undeniably offensive. The debut album from Nashville never was Wheeler Walker Jr. Is also goddamn funny, but Redneck Shit is far from just an X-rated novelty record. Well, I always get pissed when, by the way, not to interrupt, but when they call it like an X-rated novel, like it's funny. It's like it's not. For some reason, cursing in country music is funny to people. It's like they do a no, like 2017. You know, we got the president talking about grabbing pussy. You know. I give up all the pussy and the young shape enough. Bring your flabby ass back now, please. No one should do it. They're just too scared. You know. Keith Urban's a pussy, so he won't curse in his songs, so then he won't get on the radio. And I, I don't have the overhead he's got, so I don't need to be on the radio and do that shit. Fuck Rolling Stone, they can suck my dick. But people aren't used to hearing fuck and shit and pussy on top of country music, I guess. Now, to me, you write love songs. And do you think that perhaps you don't get appropriate recognition in, say, the same vein as a Lionel Richie or Celine Dion that you should be getting? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of poets out there right now, right? I mean, you know. The problem is the country lyrics are so fucking bad. Like, if you listen, I don't know if you know who Florida George line is. If you don't, don't check them out. They suck. My worst line is better than anything they could come up with. So I'm singing about real life. You know, we've all been there. Bar starts to close. You gotta get laid. So you know. And when I think about American heroes, I think of people like uh, retired General Colin Powell. I think about John McCain. I get I get Colin Powell a lot. A lot yeah. I think about Burt Reynolds. I think about Tommy Lee during the Pam Anderson years. And I think about you. Would, well, you. would you agree? Oh, that yeah. I mean, I, I definitely agree. I think about me with all those people too. But I mean, Burt Reynolds, I guess, to me would be one of these days. I'd love to be used in the same sense as Burt Reynolds, and I guess I just was. So, who's ruining country music more, Shania Twain or Blake Shelton? Shania Twain. I don't know what she is in her fifties, probably, but she fucking still looks fucking great to me. And Blake Shelton looks shitty. I mean, I'm way better looking to him. He hasn't been on here, right? He's not been on here, nor would he be invited. Yeah, he doesn't have, he doesn't have a beard. I guess, he, I guess Miranda Lambert was a beard for him, but... As much as he yeah. had one, yeah. Yeah, or Gwen Stefani now, yeah. Let me ask you a quick question about facial hair. Obviously, we the American Mustachians who care about that. Uh, clearly, you've got a, a commitment to it. And then I, w I would imagine that, that you think a man's not a man without their, their natural, God-given facial fur. Correct, yeah. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't grow a beard if you could. So if you can't grow a beard or a mustache, you're, you know, you're not a man. Which means you don't have testicles, which would make you, you know, some in between. Let's play some true and false. Kid Rock should be the next American president. I like Kid Rock. Let's say true. That is true. Masturbation in both Alabama and Illinois are illegal if using an artificial device designed primarily for the stimulation of hum human genital organs. Definitely Alabama. Um, I don't know about Tennessee. Uh, it is false because it is only Alabama, not Illinois. See, I knew it. I was just trying to get it right. Sam Hunt and Coldplay are good music acts. 
That's false. I don't care what you say, but the answer is the I correct answer. That is definitively scientifically. That's been, been proven. Proven. Yeah, yeah. Both of them are terrible. Okay, uh, you, you've got a new album out. Um, the follow-up to Redneck Shit. Let's, it, you know, it's got future hits on it. Are my dick is up? Why am I down? Poon and finger up my butt. Talk a little bit about this album, what it means to you, and maybe where it really stems from. Well, I was making the new record. It's called Old Wheeler, and I was. I was doing some gigs on the road and, you know, I came to success a little bit later than a lot of country artists and I was just like thinking, you know, people were starting to call me Old Wheeler because I, you know, I couldn't drink like I used to, I couldn't fuck like I used to. It was like, it's so what I always wanted to go on the road and party and I was just feeling like an old fucking man. And there's a great, one of my heroes, Waylon Jennings, has a great album called Old Waylon. He'll start calling me, you know what, I was like, it's called me Old Wheeler. I was like, why don't I just name the album Old Wheeler? Because I feel, because it's really an album about getting old and being on the road when you're, when you're that fucking old and how it's not really that fun. And, you know, like I said, with that, like, my dick is up, why am I down? Like, you know, it's not, you don't, have, getting laid is not always fun, you know. Or let me take that back. It's always fun, but you can still be depressed while your dick is hard. That's, you know, I mean, that's the essence of a country song, you know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let you go with this one. Last question. Um, what would it mean to Wheeler Walker Jr. to be the Robert Goulet Memorial Mustached American of the Year? I mean, I can't really think of what would mean more to me. I mean, it certainly mean more than any of those shitty country music awards. Um, I'm just glad I wear the sunglasses because if I got it, you know, I'd probably there would probably I'd get a little, t you know, get a little moist in there. So, uh, so yeah, I can't. It would mean a lot to me. Am I in the running? It could be. It could be. <laughs> Well, Wheeler Walker Jr., thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, man. It's a pleasure. This has been one of the finest interviews we've done. Oh, wow. I appreciate it. I mean, I would assume so, but yeah, thanks so much. I appreciate it. It's always good to talk about facial hair. You don't talk about it much in country music, so it's a big part of it, too, I think.